Hi everybody, on this terrific Tuesday, well, I got a um, little bit of bad news. My son had to have two shots today. He's got strep. Um, needless to say, with all the other stuff going around, he doesn't need to be bothered with uh, the things that are happening. Now, the office came to me and told me that they had several different calls about an altercation. However, there's a couple things that you guys don't know. If you go into the front of our neighborhood and read the sign, it says no trespassing and no soliciting. Before you can walk on anybody's property, and no, I don't own the property. My father pays lot rent. So as long as he's paying lot rent, this is his property. But in the beginning of the neighborhood, it says no trespassing and no soliciting. Now, granted, you guys don't like it, but does that mean that I have to take what's going on right now? I took my strike. I'm cool with that. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't bully anybody. I just did a reaction, and um, apparently they didn't like the reaction. I get it. But it's ironic how people just sit around talking about jumping me and getting me off of YouTube and doing these different things to me. Um, why are you trying to shut me up for? I got people saying they Googled my house, seen my dad getting out of a certain car. Are you kidding me? We're going to go through this again? Not this time, buddy. Um, and something you guys probably didn't know is... Kid behind the camera... It's got Jennifer's boys over there. How do you know it's not Jennifer going to look? Because I never left my neighborhood yesterday. And you know, I would be a jackass to go creeping on his property. That's against the law. What they did was trespassing also though. And I wasn't trying to get them in trouble. But I'm not going to take somebody screaming at me. And I'm not going to keep on going through it. So... If y'all got a problem with that, that's your beef, not mine. I'm not going to hold a pity party. But do I have to come home after my son's been diagnosed with strep and I have to worry about that? Because last time he had to have chest tubes um, in a coma for 60 days. And um, I don't want to go through that again. I really don't. So, my dad calls me in my room and says, I need to talk to you. Did you do something to her? I said, oh God, what now? So, do you think that this was necessary, guys? You see it? All the broken glass, my screen was broke, and this was done last night. Broken the window, my dad cleaned up the glass outside, and he's very upset saying that um, apparently people are coming here to harass me. But I didn't leave my home. They came to where I stay at. Whether it was right or wrong on both parts, does that mean my window's supposed to be broke? Does that mean that my father has to fear that someone's going to do something? It's not that serious, people. You guys are making it worse than it is. I didn't do anything that I wouldn't normally do, even if it wasn't them. So you guys are wasting your time, to be honest with you. All my um, supporters, this is where I'll be live streaming. You know I always do that anyway. And this is where I will be doing um, my uploading videos. And I don't know what's going to take place. My dad's not going to do a police report because... He said, we really focus on taking the time. The police ain't got to care anyways, and of course they're not, because last time they didn't care either. But the front office did say that if they keep coming over here, that's trespassing for me to call them right away, and they will handle it. And you know what? That's the right thing to do. They can handle it. Okay? That's how that's going to work. Second of all, tonight, if you guys want to come with me, I will be live streaming on Kruger's channel, and I think it's 9 o'clock, it ain't going to be about anything particular, but that's where we're going to go chit chat, and uh, anybody who's my supporter, please, 
please don't go striking people's channels. That is just the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life because everybody has a right to talk. I got bullied from day one. I'm going to speak my mind to the day I die. That's not bullying. I just don't understand why people can sit around having powwows, what they want to do to me, doing impressions of me, taunting me. Their fans are now threatening me. Got a broken window here, broken screen here. I got little Kiki in the living room. My son is sick. My dad's elderly. I mean, really, people? I got to go through this again? And the office said, well, you're not in any trouble. You didn't bring them here. I was in my own backyard. And we've had a lot of bikes stolen, and I heard trees rumbling over there, and I just asked who it was. And then, of course, it escalated from there and telling me to shut the hell up. Now, if I was at their house in their backyard, I could see the big altercation going even further. But to come where I stay at, you just sort of like a bear. You know what I'm saying? You just don't go into a bear's territory and take a shit. I asked a simple question. I didn't bully anybody. And um, I'm not trying to intimidate nobody. I'm tired of the games. I'm tired of the, um, the, the fake things. So I'm going to do the most positive thing I can do. And that's let the law handle it from this day forward. And let this trailer park handle it because we do have no soliciting and no trespassing. You have to ask permission. You cannot just walk in the back of somebody's yard because somebody used to live there three years ago. Sorry, you don't get that right. And uh, people keep driving by my house in, in black Escalades and stuff. My, my Kiki's father seen it last night. Really? So you guys are saying I'm sending goons? I don't own, I don't know any goons. And why would I send a bright red truck over there? That would be dumb. That really is. If you guys would go back and look, the only people that drive red trucks are, I think, in my opinion, no, this might be in my opinion. I think for sure it was a landscape guy that was going there to plant trees. But I could be wrong. But if you're that scared, then why do you keep on having these conversations and this clickbait all the time? This is not what AGP would want for any of us. And this was not the intention for it to go like this. But I'm not going to yell and scream and jump up and down. I, I am more upset that my dad has to have broken windows in a home that he worked all his life, served in the United States Army. And um, it's getting destroyed. A broken window now? Hmm. Wow. I mean, granted, people said it happened, but I really didn't think it would go that far. It was pouring down rain last night thunder and lightning so I didn't even notice the window I really didn't my father called me in here when I got home from the doctors with Albert getting two shots and his medication for his strep so everybody please don't go to pe other people's channel telling, telling them I told you to strike them because that's ridiculous the only way that a channel should ever be struck is if you're threatening somebody's life, doing harmful things, but y'all gotta be careful of, this, of the stuff that you leave on people's channels. Stop taking credit for things just because you wanna be in with certain YouTubers because that gets sent to YouTube too and it's the person that owns the channel gets in trouble because it looks like they sent their fans to attack other YouTubers to intimidate them, bully them, and character assassinate. I'm not perfect. We all know that. But for once in my life, I'm gonna let the authorities take care of everything. Since you think it's okay for people to do these things to me, I'm still not gonna go anywhere. I haven't done anything but do a reaction to a video that was made about me first, mocking me, impressing me make an impression to me you know it's gonna be okay 
So if you want to see me, come on, Kruger's tonight at 9 o'clock. Um, somebody uh, asked me if it's time for me to leave YouTube. See, no, I'm the type of person, the more you tell me to do something, I'm not going to do it. I do things on my own. I make my own choices in life. I make my own decisions. I'm not just going to leave because you tell me to. But I will not be speaking to any of the people that I have riffed with in the last year or so um, on YouTube. I have nothing more to say to them. They're going to tell their fans what they want them to know. I'm sorry. Truth hurts everybody. It is what it is. But just like their family doesn't deserve this because they just lost their dad, my family doesn't deserve this either. So with that said, y'all have a great Tuesday on me. And uh, keep bullying because that's what you guys do best for no reason. I just don't understand. I haven't figured it out. So big money, big YouTubers get the bully, the smaller YouTubers, because they can. Have a great day. Watch out for the flu, it's going around. Jeffrey Cleveland, this is my shout out to you. Thank you for your concern. Uh, Carolyn, thank you for your concern. My son's aunt. Don't worry, I'm not going to let anything happen to him. And to my dad. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry. I didn't think it was going to go like this. And I apologize to you for bringing trouble to your home. It won't happen again. And if it does, the proper authorities will take care of it. I love you, Dad. I thank you for giving me a roof over my head and taking care of me and my son um, emotionally. And I'm glad I'm able to help you financially. And that's what family does. And uh, getting bullied is just part of being in life. Which is what happens when people are jealous. And I'll see everybody else on Kruger tonight, 9 o'clock. And as always, deuces, bitches.